back to another tutorial for scratch today we're going to try to uh, incorporate the concepts concepts from last the last tutorial we did the last video and create a two-player game uh, so I already have the game created I always feel like it's best to create them before doing these videos because it's it allows me to explain more things to you guys instead of trying to find all the drag all the little items so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's first give you a demo on what the game is. And then we go ahead and show you how to code it. So this one here, this is the game. Um, as you can see, we have a one player here and another player over here. Now it's going to be a little hard for me to uh, try to move both uh, items at the same time. So I'm just going to move one. But the whole goal is, uh, I call this game uh, Space XYZ. <laughs> uh, kind of like a little thing on SpaceX. Uh, but this rocket down here is going to be coming from up on the top. And it's a, every time you land it on the canoe looking thing, it should, um, it will give you if the player a point. So the players get to move however they want, up, down, left, right. And the trick here is to try to avoid each other. Because if you don't avoid each other, then you'll bounce back into your original positions. Alright, so let's demo this. So that's a, just a little basic thing. Now let's go ahead and look at the what's inside of it. So let's stop it so we don't get annoyed by that noise. We start by first adding a image of whatever you guys want to put on the on the water, or if you want to do any other item, it's totally fine. I wanted to do something. I was going free a spacecraft carrier lander, but it not very good at paint so <laughs> I ended up with a, with a canoe looking thing so get your item and again I'm going to walk you exactly how I did it so first I did this button here I went and grabbed the button and then I deleted the top of it and it looked, made it look like a canoe so to get a sprite you get them from here on the bottom or you can make your own by doing the paint here and also apparently it surprises you whatever you want to be surprised with I mean I guess randomly choose from the sprites but I went and grabbed the sprite edited it to my liking and then I did like the other the other video I made in XYZ to be able to control it with the uh, <clears throat> With the keys on my keyboard, the up, down, left, right. And uh, this is the same code as the other one. Exactly the same. So you can grab from those other projects that you create and create another different project that adds a little difference to it. So that's the first thing I did. I was I made sure I could test the left, right, up and down of it. And then I added the... Uh, I added this at the end because I was just basically trying to make sure I got the concepts of uh, movement first. And for those that are curious and want to know what this is, this is basically <clears throat> when the two canoes touch, then it will make the uh, alert sound and bounce them back to their original location. So then I made a copy because the easiest way to do... Uh, an object that works exactly or similar like the other one is to make a copy and you right click on it and duplicate it so that's what I did I duplicated it and created the second one here which had the same properties except that I used different keys 
obviously and started the started it at a different position so they start right here on these positions I didn't give it an actual degree or pointing direction so that's why this one's upside down so it will start however you left it either upside down or upright when you restart so um, in this case since I want two players I gave it different keys I give it the W, S, A, and D because I, I was that way we can have, have two people playing on the keyboard at once and I would ask somebody to come play with it but uh, they're all sleeping right now <laughs> let's see so once I had that I went ahead and decided that if I had my two canoes right once I was I don't want them to when they touch each other I want them to sound an alarm and bounce back to the original location so basically this here this code which is sim similar to the one on the other one except for the obviously the location where they're gonna go back to is basically saying that if and we do this forever if canoe one is touching canoe two in this case canoe two is touching canoe one or their button two touching button three then move it to this position and sound the alarm and do this forever as long as they touch so that's the same logic I did over here but I made sure I check for the other button and then what I did was create a spaceship sprite well the sprite was already created and this sprite had multiple uh, schemes or themes uh, what would they call them they had it had multiple uh, customs so I deleted a few I deleted a few of them and just I left it with what I had like the ones I, I liked and basically what I did here was <clears throat> if you see here I have four different things this one here is changing its position forever it's just randomly placing it somewhere when it starts it's showing it this one here, this loop here, is changing the way it looks. The way that's why when it's coming down from the screen, it looks like it's turning on and off its engines. That's how you make it look like that. And the speed, this one you can change it, but I've noticed that if you put 0.5, it looks just like good enough for the human eye. So that's what that one does. And I believe this one up here I also used in the other sprite. Yes, with the shark. I definitely used it with the other shark. So if you guys want an explanation on that, you can go ahead and look at that other video. Um, and then these two loops down here on the bottom. Let me bring them up to the side. And I'll move right here. Are, if you look at them, almost identical. Like, almost identical. The only difference is that one of them is checking for if this uh, rocket ship is touching button 2, which in this case is canoe number 2, or button 3, which is canoe number 1. And what this loop basically does is just add our score up here for our player. So whenever it touches a player at the score at 1. And... Um, the first thing we do is we set the player score to zero when we start this game. We want to be able to reset the score to zero. So that's what we do. And then forever, if our rocket ship touches the canoe, then play the sound. It plays the sound of a uh, laser. And then it hides. And then, and then it adds, increments the score of the player by one. And then we wait for five seconds, make it glide from a random position. And in this case, it's going from, X, from on the y-axis only. So it's coming down like it's raining, like this. And it's randomly coming down. And then we have to make sure we show it because we hit it up here. So we have to put that way to show 
And that's basically what that does. And the, the other loop is exactly the same, it's just for the other button. And that's how we keep the score. Now, fun things you can do with this is uh, maybe have it decrement when the two canoes touch each other. Have it, have the score, you lose points to say that. If you happen to touch each other and it bounces back. You can have it do that. Um, another way to make it cool game about the, on this stuff is to make it the opposite. Where you start with a certain number of points, right? And if the canoe, if any of these rockets touch your canoes, then you lose points. So that was a very simple uh, way of showing you guys how to grab items from another game to create your own uh, or modify your game to create whatever you guys want to do. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, have any ideas on what else you guys want to create or want me to create. Um, I'm open to try different things uh, and just help you guys learn as we go and get this content out there for other people. Uh, you guys have a great day. Uh, see you soon. Bye.